Hello and welcome to another video by StumbleRock TV. Today we're going to tell you about a new feature and some of the newer versions that Google has released in Google Earth. Now if you're not familiar with Google Earth, it's a program in which you can virtually browse around the world. Now in some of the newer versions, version 4.2 and later, Google has added a hidden feature, sometimes referred to as an Easter egg, that you can enter a flight simulator over the Earth. Now if you don't have Google Earth, you can go download it from earth.google.com. Once you get it, you want to open it up. If you already have it, there you're going to want to check your version number and make sure that it's 4.2 or later. To do this, you want to go to Google Earth's help menu. Like so and you scroll to the bottom click about Google Earth and you want to make sure that version number there says 4.2 then click OK to exit that now like I said flight simulator is a hidden feature in Google Earth to access it you're gonna to have to press on your keyboard control alt a and you'll get this dialog where you can select an airplane an airport we're gonna select Los Angeles here and then go ahead and click start flight once you get there, you'll find yourself virtually on a real runway somewhere in the world. Here we're at Los Angeles. Now to go ahead and take up, you want to increase your thrust on the plane, so you use that with your page up key. You'll notice in the bottom left, there's a little readout that displays your thrust and some other positional controls. So once you've gathered off enough speed, you can use the down arrow key to go ahead and take off. and likewise the up arrow key to level out. Now if you're a novice user like us who doesn't have much experience with flight simulators you may find it easier to use your mouse to steer. Just remember that up is down and down is up so if you want to go down move your mouse above the green arrow. If you want to go up move your mouse below the green arrow. You want to go right move left. You want to go left move right and eventually you'll get the hang of it and you'll be able to fly over Los Angeles or anywhere else in the world that you choose. Just like that. Whoops, looks like we crashed. You can click Exit Flight Simulator and now that you've used it once the flight simulator in Google Earth will be available under the tools menu. You can also still use the keyboard shortcut. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by StumbleRock TV.